You too. What's good? It's your boy J Razor checking in. Man, I had a um a request today on Facebook through a comment uh off of one of my pictures I posted about how to tighten up the switch on the um the Babyless clippers. And basically you're gonna start off by getting you uh like a medium size Phillips head screwdriver and a small Phillips head screwdriver and a flat head screwdriver. And me, the way I take my blade off, like <clears throat> I take my lever off and then I slide the blade and the bracket off together, like as one whole piece. Because the reason why I do that is so that when I put my blade back on, I won't have to reset it. You know what I'm saying? It'll already be set. I just have to pop the uh the cutting blade back on and then pop slide the steel blade and the um the bracket back on the clipper. Alright, so here you're gonna take your small Phillips head and um take these two side panels off. Well it's just one that has a screw, but the other one the screw is in the lever or whatever. But you're gonna take like I say your small Phillips and take both panels off. Then you're gonna wanna switch to your um flat head and you want to take off the front uh, face plate where the name the name plate on the clipper and by doing that it's two clips that hold the name plate in place you want to take the Phillips head and pry it on the clip kind of sort of to push the clip out so you can pop the face plate off or the name plate off and it's two screws behind the um, name plate so if you I and then I would suggest when you take everything apart put the screws with whatever you take off accordingly so like how I took put the two screws that go with the nameplate with the nameplate so I won't misplace them <laughs> but basically like I said there's two screws behind the nameplate you want to take the either or the small end or the big end or the Phillips head and uh undo those and then you want to take your big phillips head and go to the bottom of the clipper and unscrew the three screws at the bottom now like i said when you um when you take everything apart do it accordingly like match it up accordingly like you see how i got the two screws with the name plate the one screw with the side panel and the screw that's in the lever is still in the lever and right here i'm gonna uh put my bottom piece with the three screws see what i'm saying so you want to do everything accordingly now right here <clears throat> it's two screws that go at the bottom i had took them apart once before and i forgot to put the screws back in so once y'all see once i finish doing this then i'll um show y'all how to put the screws back in even though it's just it's simple two screws at the bottom then you want to take it apart and nine times out of ten if you use them all day every day like i do i use mine all day every day every day it's like my go-to clipper and like mine has a lot of hair in it or whatever so you want to take it clean it out and then you want to tighten up the screw on the little back plate of the power switch and once you do that, then it shouldn't like move anymore. Like it shouldn't jiggle because mine was jiggling. I was wondering what it was that was making the noise and I could never find out, but I had found out. And then I took my clippers apart once and um, I realized my screw was loose. So I had to tighten it up and now it doesn't do it anymore. But as you can see, well, the two screws that I had never put back in, it, it wouldn't make a difference because it just hold it together. But as you can see, I put them back where they go and slide the, the plate back on, slide the plate back on the bottom and, you know, really just reassemble it. Go in reverse. Even if you have to put your steps in order, if you have to, like, if you take your part, if you take up, if you take your clippers apart, Jesus, I think not get that out. If you take your clippers apart, how I took mine apart, starting with the blade. You want to undo the blade 
and the lever put that together first like in like a little area put that first and then do the name plate and the screws put that second and then do the bottom um no scratch that scratch that after the blade you want to take the side panel put that with that make that second and then you take the name plate and the screws make that third so on and so forth and uh you know like i said basically when you're done um put everything back together make sure they're cleaned out pretty good before you do put them back together oh and a word to the wise be careful with the nameplate on the front because when i was trying to put mine back on i uh i what's the word i'm looking for i broke my one of my clips on my nameplate and i had to super glue it kind of back together so it'll hold in place but I mean, ever since I did that, I, I haven't had any problems. So, I mean, I said, just be careful with everything. Now, this part is tricky. If you take your blade off, how I took mine off. Like, the little clip, you want to take it and pry it. It's not, it's not hard, but you want to take it and pry that clip onto that latch. Because if you don't, then uh, the clip won't stay. Then you basically put the um the cutting blade back on the clip, put it back on, and then you want to slide the um the mo the steel blade back on. And I mean that's like I said that's pretty much it. Like after you do that, you know, put the lever back in, screw everything back together, and um make sure everything's running right. Even though it should be running right because you didn't do any like hard electrical work or anything you know and so i mean that's it i'll check in with y'all later peace